Under the hood updates can be a hard sell for software developers, especially for operating systems, unless they can noticeably increase performance or stability. That makes High Sierra a bit of a hard sell for Apple, since there's very little going on here to obviously change your experience. There's a lot going on to lay the groundwork for future enhancements and some tweaks to applications such as Photos and Safari. Plus, you might see better speed and stability from Apple File System if you have an SSD. Safari 11 improves your browsing experience thanks to blocking autoplay videos with sound by default. You can install that separately from the operating system, though. Photos is a streamlined interface with more ways to filter your content, and Apple basically overhauled the editor. It's now much easier to get to the advanced tools, and you can turn adjustments on or off with a click to experiment. You can also edit live photos to add looping, bounce, and long exposure effects. Photos also has a new interface for developers to write extensions to, and out of the gate, there are a handful of integrations with printing services. For instance, you can create photo books from places like Shutterfly. The integration makes them nicer to use than going to the website separately, but it's pretty much the standard creation experience. With High Sierra, Apple expands iCloud's role as the hub of your Apple world. The family plan has better tools for managing and allocating storage, and of course makes it dead easy to pay for more. Apple also rolls out its iCloud file sharing for working on documents collaboratively, sharing links instead of files, syncing shared files, and controlling shared access. There are also a handful of touch bar enhancements, such as flicking to change brightness and volume, and an increased number of choices and controls for the system color picker. So as you can see, there's not a lot here to get excited about, but eventually there probably will be.